Firstly, we've integrated Google Buzz. You can now send an update to Buzz just like you send any other update from TweetDeck. Enter your update, select your Google Buzz account, and your update will be posted. From your Buzz column, you can like and comment on posts, just like we do with Facebook currently. There are also other options. If you hover over the profile picture, you can choose to mute, delete, or email an update. We've also added Foursquare integration. You now have a location column containing all your Foursquare updates. You can click on a venue to view a profile for that venue, showing who's there, tips. You can check in from that venue. And any text that you include here will be sent along with your check-in details as well. When viewing a Foursquare update, if you click on somebody's name, that will reveal their Foursquare profile, where you can see their current badges, any friends that they've got, and also links through to their Twitter and Facebook profiles. At the bottom of the location column, you can reveal an interactive map showing all your friends' Foursquare updates. If you want to just add your location to an update, you can simply pick one from the list or add a new one, and that will geocode your update. It's now possible to schedule your updates to be sent at a later date and time. Just compose your update as normal to any of your networks or a combination, click the clock, set the date and time that you wish the update to be sent, Click Set Time. Then when you hit Send, your updates will be queued and sent by the TweetDeck servers at the relevant date and time that you specified. You can see your update in the Scheduled Updates column from where you can edit or delete your updates and change the scheduled time if you want to. Once the updates have been sent, they'll be removed from the Updates column. TweetDeck now offers global filters, allowing you to filter out of your, all your columns updates that contain certain words or sent by certain people, or come from certain sources. You can combine any combination of terms across each of the three fields, separating them by comma. So if you wish to exclude more than one person, just add them to the list, separated by a comma, and their updates will be hidden from all your columns. It's now possible to upload videos direct via your webcam to the TwitPid service. Click on the webcam icon, click the record button to record your video, Click the stop button and save video. That will then insert a link to your newly uploaded video into the tweet box where you can then fill in your message and send. And of course you can watch any TweetBid video in TweetDeck itself using the in-app preview window. And there you have it. These are just some of the new features that we've added to TweetDeck version 0.34. It's available to download now, so head over to tweet.